guys, it's me, My Reborns, and I am back with another video. Today is a Thursday, May 5th. It's Cinco de Mayo, so happy Cinco de Mayo to all of you who celebrate. And it's currently 5.29 p.m. Why couldn't I have did this like a minute later or something so it be 5.30? Like that would have been kind of cute. <laughs> so we have Scarlett here and I am going to be changing the babies for the very, very last time. I'm just going to assume that they're not going to get sold because I'm going to upload this tomorrow, which is Friday. And then Saturday is the last day that I can ship and I doubt they're going to sell tomorrow if they haven't sold. So I'm going to be... Changing them into their sleepers, um, since they're not going to be sold, that's fine. I'm going to put them in their sleeper today, and then next week I'm going to pack it, pack them up in whatever gender I want with whatever accessory. Well, they're not going to go home with anything um, except for an outfit, but whatever else I decide to in the box is going to be up to me. But they're going to go home in the gender that I choose, just in case they sell after June, because after tomorrow they're not going to be up for sale anymore until june like the end of june that's when they'll be back up for sale and they will be original price um i will probably negotiate but they would never be as low as they are right now like scarlet right now is literally sorry i have to i have it written down i don't want to say a different price for them she's 150 dollars free shipping she used to be 230 but then i had changed her price to 180 She's going back up to 230 and I'm no longer doing free shipping on any of my dowels because, uh, let me see the name. I think it's M's Gems or Gems M's. She had recently informed me that USPS prices has rose and she is 100% absolutely correct. USPS prices are very expensive, which means I'm not going to be able to provide, yeah, M's Gems, you guys go subscribe to her, which means I'm not going to be able to provide free shipping for any of my dowels anymore. Will not be offering free shipping and shipping has gone up quite a bit and it's really expensive now anywho i will be sending scarlet home as a girl and we're gonna start with her because she's the oldest baby i have so she's gonna go home with this sleeper it's been literally sitting here since december of 2020 um she hasn't been sitting here since december 2020 but my mom had got it in december of 2020 when i had Gigi. i think it was this yeah it was december when I had Gigi, so she had picked up a boy outfit and a girl outfit, and this just so happens to fit Scarlett. I told her to get a 0-3 to because I feel like 0-3 to fits anybody. <laughs> so we're going to change her out of this little boyish sleeper. Um, it has a fox on it. It's Chandler. So we're going to give Chandler back his clothes. We've been borrowing it too much. <laughs> and uh, we're going to just change her into this sleeper. And I will probably fast forward this. And, uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys when she's all changed. Oh, let me move this back. Let me move this plastic back here. Okay, I'm coming back to you all and I'm talking now because um, I don't want to finish dressing her and then start talking and you guys just staring at her, which is kind of boring. I do want to say my Reborns.com page, I will be not deleting it, but I will be taking off Claudia on there and uh, Scarlett. I'll be taking Claudia and Scarlett off of my Reborns.com page. They will no longer be on there. I'll be taking them off. I already took them off Mercari, but I have made a listing for Blinkland because somebody asked me to provide more photos and information and things like that and so she has her she's the only one who has a listing on mercari but um tomorrow i will be taking off her listing on mercari and i do have them on instagram i'm gonna leave them up on instagram for now but i probably would take it off instagram as well but you guys know if you're interested in the baby let me know i won't be able to ship until june um mid-june i won't even be able to ship them but they will be getting shipped in June. My mom's going to ship them. So, and then if the, I come back <laughs> at the end of this year and I still have all four babies, I do not know what I'm going to do. I will probably cry if I'm being honest, guys. If I come back and all of my babies are still for sale, I will probably cry. We're not going to do her hair, though. But, yeah, we're going to, well, I am going to be sending Scarlett home as a girl. Again, you guys do not get, well, if you plan on purchasing 
them and anytime after June, you would unfortunately not get a chance to choose their gender as they're already gonna be pack packaged up with the gender that I want. So again, Scarlett will go home as a girl. Of course, when you get her, just make her boy. Keep the clothing for another baby if you have one that can fit it. If not, you can sell it, I don't know. Or just keep it for future babies or if you want to change your back. So, yeah, this is a zero to three month. And this seems big, but trust me, it fits perfectly. And I would not suggest a newborn for her. Definitely not. Zero to three months fits her really good. But I actually personally suggest three months because she is long. So sometimes the stuff doesn't fit her as good as this. But this is Child of Mine by Carter's. So I say that their zero to three um, fits her. But anything else, I would definitely say three months but that's scarlet and now we're going to get claudia look at her she's so cute okay <laughs> look at claudia so tiny and cute we have claudia claudia is next because i painted claudia in september or i finished claudia yeah i've started and finished claudia in september of 2021 so claudia is next to get changed into their sleeper and i don't know I can't remember if I'm going to send Claudia home as a girl or a boy. Like, I already took out everything that they're going to be going home with. But I just don't remember if I wanted her to go home as a boy or a girl. So, I don't, I don't know. I'll have to. I think I'm sending her, I think I'm sending Claudia home as a boy. But this sleeper I'm going to put Claudia in. The sleeper I'm going to put Claudia in and the sleeper that she's going to go home in or he's going to go home in is gender neutral so that's why i really don't know but it's just this carter's newborn size gray and white striped sleeper and it says i love you on the chest right here with a little ducky and it's footed has buttons trimmed in gray we're going to get this little boy or girl changed into their sleeper right now I do want to talk a little bit. I don't know what I want to talk about. I just want to talk. <laughs> um, oh, I have to say this. I totally forgot. I did record a video yesterday that I was going to schedule for tomorrow, which is Friday. But then I am decided on scheduling it tomorrow. It was a video with Eilina. I mean, I decided to schedule it for Saturday instead of tomorrow. So these videos will be out of order. Just these ones. Anything after will not be out of order. But these two videos will be out of order because, like I said, I recorded the video with Eilina yesterday, which is Wednesday. And then I'm recording this video today, which is Thursday. And I'm going to actually be posting this video first and then the Wednesday video on Saturday. So, when you guys watch Eilina's video, yes, I'm going to say it's Wednesday, May 3rd. But <laughs> just ignore it. I try to keep my videos in order on when I make them just so there's, like, no confusion and it's closest to the date that I'm saying in the video. But just for this, I um, I will not be posting it in order. But anything else after will get posted in order. Again, I am putting Claudia on a newborn size sleeper. I personally love newborn size for this baby. I don't like stuff to be too tight, but I also don't like stuff to be too big. So I do have to fickle between um, sizes to figure out what I like best and what runs too big and what runs too small. I personally just like newborn on this baby, but you could fit some preemie as I did make this baby very petite and small. This is just regular Carter size newborn. And... This is how it fits. So, it fits really good. The sleeves are a tad bit long, but they do have the built-in hand mittens, which I like. So newborny. But this is how Claudia looks in this newborn Carter sleeper. Big stretches. <laughs> so cute. Sleeping so peacefully. Um, someone had commented they did not know how my babies were still for sale. And I'm like, same. I do not know how my babies are still for sale either. But look at Claudia. So peaceful and sleeping. You guys are probably wondering where Blinklin is at, which I probably should have said. 
Um, Blinklin will not be going home in a sleeper unless I can find one that can fit Blinklin. I don't have anything preemie because I don't have preemie babies. So I can't find anything that will fit Blinklin. So Blinklin's going to go home in just the outfit she came to me in. Because Blinklin only came to me with the onesie on, a headband, and like three diapers, I think. So I'm going to be sending that with her and then another outfit. But that's why she's not in this video. But here is sweet pea look how big sweet pea is and you guys haven't saw sweet pea oh my gosh sweet pea you don't fit you don't fit maybe i should just rearrange you a little bit buddy i do have to put a uh, sweet pea head on as you see sweet pea has string on his head um he will be getting on a zip tie sometime before i package him up so let's go ahead and Chain Sweet Pea. We're going to put Sweet Pea in this gown. It's a Just When You Newborn and three months. So it's both. Zero to three, I should say. It's a gown. Either way, if it was a newborn gown, it would still fit Sweet Pea because gowns are so long and they're always so big on the newborn baby. So it still would have fit Sweet Pea perfectly fine. So it's just a lime green and a white stripe gown and does have the mini cuffs as well it's so cute we're gonna put that on sweet pea he's not gonna long he's no longer going to be mickey moused out he's so cute look at him also before i go ahead and fast forward this sweet pea does not have a magnet and sweet pea does not have eyebrows or hair let me hear up and say this which many, many of you probably already know why because i always say it but the reason why sweet pea doesn't have a magnet is because i wanted to see if anybody if they wanted to purchase him you know they could always add on a magnet free of charge um i kind of wanted to stop putting magnets in all my babies because a lot of people don't like them anymore i don't know why um but yeah he doesn't have a magnet he doesn't have eyebrows because if they wanted hair on him which i was going to offer rooted hair free of charge as well no longer going to offer that but uh i was going to match his eyebrows with his oh i have to cut this why isn't this cut i have to i was going to match his eyebrows with his hair but since you know nobody wanted him i didn't put any eyebrows on him because i didn't know what color his hair was going to be okay but his diaper out of all of them looks the worst probably because it's a dollar tree diaper i'm gonna fix this though like why is it like this <laughs> but i do have to cut this i hope i remember to cut this like i I do have to take his head off anyways and put on a zip tie, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to remember to cut that. But he has a cute little birthmark right here, guys. It's so sweet. I never did a birthmark before. I did, like, moles and beauty marks, but I've never done a birthmark, and I think it turned out really good. Let me zoom in on it for you all. And I did a little scratch on the knee. So cute. All right, let me fast forward this thing. So I just realized I did not cut the zip tie on any of his limbs. I don't know why. Maybe I couldn't find the clippers or something. I don't know why they're not cut. But one thing I can say out of all of their... I just realized he's not weighted in his head, I don't think. So I have to weigh him in his head. Oh, yeah, I didn't weigh him in his head because just in case somebody wanted me to root him, it'll be easier. Yeah, that's why. So I do have to weigh him in his head. But one thing I can say, out of all the babies, I actually don't really like how I weighted him. Um, because he is a skinnier newborn. A skinnier newborn. He is a skinnier baby. And I just, I don't know. I don't like, how, I don't like weighing I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't even know how to explain it. But out of all the babies, I don't really like his weighting. But he is weighted properly with glass beads and polyfill and all that good stuff. He's not weighted with anything crazy like sand or anything. But he is weighted. And his face is cut off. Okay. He wears zero to three months as well. But again, I would recommend three months on him as well. Because if you do anything, if you do a zero to three, that's fine. But just make sure it's long because he's a very, very long baby. So if you don't do it long, it's not going to fit him around the arms. And where's the opening? Am I going crazy? It's not going to fit him. Oh, I am. It's 
It's not going to fit him around the arms. I feel like I repeated myself like four times. Or the legs. It's going to be like two short on the arms and the legs so that's why i say three months for him it is going to be a little bit big and baggy not this but if you do three months it is going to be a little bit big and baggy just because he is a skinnier baby but just because he's so long is the reason why he's in that size anyways when i do his head i'm not going to make it floppy i do not like the floppy look on him look at his little legs hold on look at him look at his little legs guys i actually always adore the sweet pea kit um, I think I said that already, but I always adore the sweet pea kit. Here's his feet. This the other feet. Oh my gosh. You're so sweet. And you don't even know. Watch how this fits him so good. Look at that. This, no way. No way. This would not have fit a newborn. If this is fitting a three-month size baby, I just don't even want to know what it looks like on a newborn baby. And I here I was trying to put this on um, Blinklin. I was going to put a I was going to put this sleeper on Blinklin because I thought I had one for Sweet Pea, but I actually didn't. So that's why this is going to Sweet Pea, and that's why Blinklin doesn't have anything. But this wasn't going to fit Blinklin, no way. I think I'm going to leave his little toesies out. Oh, he will be going home as a boy. I don't think I said that. He'll be going home as a boy. Does her little scratch mittens on the hands. She's probably a little too old for that, but not really. Look at that. He will look so cute. Like, that's why I would say, like, sometimes, sometimes the limbs don't matter if it's like a boo boo baby. Because, like, look how he just looks so cute and you can't see anything but his head. If the head is good, the baby's good <laughs> you can cover up the limbs with pants and you can cover up the arms with long sleeve shirts and onesies but that head is bad the whole baby's bad but the head is good and the limbs are bad the baby's good <laughs> some of y'all are going to know what i'm talking about some of you guys are going to be like please stop talking but oh my gosh he looks so cute in this it's too bad i have to leave you buddy Sometimes I wish I can keep these babies that I make. And I'm not even saying that because I'm the one who painted and made him. It's just because, honestly, they are really cute. And you guys are probably asking yourself, like, if you saw that baby for sale, would you buy it? And I'm talking about my own work here. Like, somebody painted this exact baby, would I buy it? And for that price, the prices that I have on all my babies, I will say yes. The only baby I probably wouldn't buy is Scarlet because I would have to redo her hair and I actually don't like rooting. But out of all these three babies, I would say yes. If Scarlet's hair was better or she was bald, I would buy Scarlet too. The only reason I'm saying no to Scarlet is because I would have to reroot her hair and I wouldn't want to do that. But if I saw Sweet Pea up for sale for his price, I would buy him. Why does it look like... Am I going crazy? I think I'm going crazy, guys. Oh, I broke my glasses, and I've been wearing my old glasses from 2020. Like, I haven't worn these glasses since November of 2020. I'm wearing them now. They've been making me see things. And before, my vision was very, very blurry when I'm wearing them. And now, I'm starting to see out of them. I'm starting to see out of them, and it's, it's scary. But I am going to the eye doctor. So... Yes, I will buy both of these babies for their prices. I'll buy both of these babies for their prices. And again, if Scarlett was bald, I will buy her as well. Okay. I was trying to just position them. Look at Claudia. But I don't know. Claudia is a maybe, actually. Claudia's a maybe just because of her size, but I actually did want a newborn size baby in my collection um, because I only have Zaire right now. And you guys know, Messiah, unfortunately, is still in storage. So I only have Zaire right now, so I, will probably, I probably would have bought Claudia because I've been wanting a newborn, another newborn. So yeah, actually, yes. Sweet Pea, again, I will actually buy Sweet Pea. And I don't even like three-fourth limbs, but I actually buy Sweet Pea just because of the price, if I'm being honest. That's why sometimes, like, you guys be seeing babies and you guys are probably like, why, why did she buy that baby? It's because of the price, I'm telling you guys. Like, Blinkland. I literally saw Blinkland. I was like, oh my gosh, this price is so unreal. Purchase. <laughs> and I did have other plans in mind for Blinkland, which I might share later, might not. I don't know. 
but that didn't work out how I wanted it to which is why she's up for sale but if honestly I don't know if I would have bought her if I didn't have plans for her I, I didn't know it was going to be this hard to sell a hundred dollar baby let me tell you that though okay let me <laughs> scoot over so your sister can get in here you guys can't tell but they are all different size Ooh, did I just pull your hair oh girl I'm sorry I'm so so sorry boo Come on. Come on, Scarlet. Stop being difficult. As you see, they all they all are really poseable. I just have to play around with Scarlet because she has three fourth legs, so her legs just wanna move and go wherever. There we go. As you guys can see, they all do have different skin tone. Look, see, look at her, look at her. Where are you going? You trying to go find your new home? Huh? She's trying to go find her new home. She doesn't want to stay here anymore. I don't blame you, sister. Okay, what is, that's not cute, that's not cute, Scarlet. We gonna have to leave it like that. I tried, I tried to do something cute with y'all, but they just, they didn't want it. So, as you guys can see, they all are different skin tones. Out of all of them, Claudia's the darkest, Scarlet's the lightest, and Sweet Pea is in between both of their colors. So those are my three munchkins that I had for sale. I've been having a horrible time selling them. I don't mind them here. It's just they just take up a lot of space. And when they're here, that means I can't paint any new baby because where are they going to go? <laughs> so yes, all of these babies are for sale if anyone sees this for the first time. You guys let me know in the comments which baby out of these three is your favorite. It's okay guys it's okay when the mom tells you or the painter <laughs> artist tells you to pick a favorite it's okay you don't have to say they're all my favorite it's okay pick a favorite um this is scarlet this is sweet pea and this is claudia let me know your favorite in the comments below and let me know if you guys think that their genders are perfect for them or if not do you think scarlet should have been a boy sweet pea should have been a girl you know but yes Scarlet is a girl, Sweet Pea is a boy. Again, I don't know. I think I made Claudia a boy too. I really don't remember. I do want to say I did make Claudia a boy. I think. <laughs> Look at those little piggies. Alright, that is actually it for this video. This video is already long, guys. If you want to follow me on Instagram, go ahead and follow me at Mind Reborns. In a few months, like two, I will be posting back on there. I probably won't post anything on there until like July. But once July comes, I will be posting on there. If you guys want to follow me on Reborns.com, you can. But there will be no babies listed on there by the time you see this, most likely. But my Reborns.com is Melanated Bay Bays. I'm not even going to say I have a membership. I'll talk about that in another video. If you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below anything you want, including video requests. And I will talk to you all later. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also ring that bell so you guys can always be notified when I post another video. Right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Okay. Let me move the babies and actually look like I love them. Like, why is Claudia head like that? This how you start off a video, Maya? Okay, let's see. Let's move her or him over here. Okay. Oh, sweet bee. Right there. Alright, let me try to get a better angle for you all. I don't know where I'm going to put this clip at. This is technically that's supposed to be in the intro, but it's not looking like so. Okay, let me move it this way.